Just what we needed. Thanks for suggesting this place, Sophia. No prob. Glad I could be of service. I noticed you guys were pretty quiet. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you know. Huh? You have a phone call from Tenkichi. Okay, put it on speaker. Nope. Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of the law. Bro, oh, Yuki, put it on speaker. Although we're in a kind of public area, so, eh. But still. New phone, who dis? Tenkichi Hasegawa? Come on, you know it's me. Anyway, I wanted to set up a meeting. How about I swing by the RV in the evening? Tenkichi's gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for him. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the monarch of Sapporo. Our suspect's name is Mariko Hyodo. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo Central. Our target's a mayor? No way! Wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? How could someone like that be a monarch? Yusuke, clearly you have never heard of the name Donald Trump. Need I say more? Cheeto wasn't so different. This is true. Such things have happened before. How'd you find out she's the one? Because everybody is suddenly in love with her. Mayor Hyodo's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Did you say 50? So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? Again, have you heard of Donald Trump? Okay. <laughs> more than just crazy. It's unheard of. There's more. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. Any remaining councilmen who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Not to mention the elections coming up. It's all too convenient. Rumor has it, Shoto wants to expand her political influence to the national level. PubSec's been investigating that. But, alas. Again, I ask, have you heard? <laughs> we haven't run across any solid leads just yet. Oh my god. So, this sounds way too familiar. So, it's not just a coincidence? A coincidence wouldn't last this long, or go this deep. It is suspicious, I will admit. But we'd need a keyword to confirm whether she's a monarch or not. That won't be a problem. She's already referenced Emma several times in her speeches, meaning there's a good chance she's been announcing her keyword in public. So, you're saying we can find out her keyword if we go see her speak? Very likely, yes. In fact, Yodo's going to be in Suzushino on the 10th making the speech. Since it's close to the election, the crowds may well be in the thousands. That's a threat. If she is indeed changing people's hearts, then perhaps this is no surprise. Hmm. Is something wrong, Haru? No, it's just... It's hard to explain. Mariko Hyodo. The name seems familiar somehow. I mean, she is the mayor of town. Maybe you've heard her name on TV. Or perhaps your father had some connection with her? Possibly. Sorry, let's put that aside for now. Whatever you do, don't try and contact her directly. I'm saying this to keep you safe. It'll be a downright pain in the ass if she finds out we're onto her. I suggest you enjoy your leisure time until the day of the speech. Hey. Should we... Tell him what happened with Ichinose-san. She's an important part of our investigation now. Do I want to be in held of contempt of court? Or do I want to be held liable? The illusion of choice. Alright. You two have something you want to share? deal with the inventor of Emma? Wait, hold on. That's Kuan Ichinose, you said? Where have I heard that before? Right, she was on my report. Ichinose is the one who wrote Emma from scratch. Were you looking into her? That's correct, my good sir. I was looking into Medis, actually. 
wasn't long before her name popped up. The famous inventor who sold off Emma to Medice. Tell me, how'd you get cozy with someone like that? Very easy, fairly an inconvenience. Oh, well, uh, I guess it just sort of happened. What matters is her familiarity with Emma. If anyone abuses it, she could help us find out who and why. Only Ichinose knows Emma's ins and outs, no matter what version it is. Makes sense. The report didn't make her out to be somebody dangerous. And while she does sound like a valuable source of info, I really want you guys to be more careful about this operation. I'm trusting you guys a lot by sharing all this classified intel. So I'd prefer you don't go creating liabilities like this behind my back. I'll do it in front of you. Understood. I'll take your advice to heart. Good. And besides, shouldn't I be your go-to guy for help? Seeing you guys run off making confidants left and right makes me feel like a lonely old man. Are you trying to gain our trust or get attention? Hate to say it, Gramps, but we do shit on our own because your help only gets us so far. What? It's not my fault I'm not an expert on all this cognitive mumbo-jumbo. And would it kill you to ditch the Gramps? I'm as fly as any one of you kids. Uh. Mm -hmm. At least say something. All right, Futaba, give him a challenge or give him a test or whatever. Your goatee is a statement. I don't need your pity. <laughs> You're the one bringing it up. Never mind that. Point is, there's a speech on the tenth, and I'm counting on you to be there. Why am I just now realizing that I that I look like Zenkichi except for blonde hair, long hair, goatee, glasses? I hate this. I hate this game. I wish there was something we could do in Corbin. I'm not a fan of waiting. What else can we do but be prepared and keep ourselves in top condition? It's like Zenkichi said earlier. Let's enjoy our leisure time and make the most of our trip. Hey, since we're in Hokkaido, we should chat out on seafood. I hear Hokkaido's soup curry is also not to be missed. I'd like to visit the former government office. Their flowers are supposed to be breathtaking. Okay, then I'll set a route that takes us to each of those destinations. Thanks, Sophia. The directions are all yours tomorrow. Level 20? Come on, we're like five pixels away. Sapporo Central, former Hokkaido government office. Check it out. It's actually pretty hip for such an old place. It was once nice. the main office for the Hokkaido government. Now it remains a symbol of the island and an important cultural property. Simply marvelous. There's a stillness and symmetry here that ignites my artist's soul. And the garden is so lovely. How many kinds of flowers do you think there are? What's going on over there? Completely wilted! How could you overlook this? Ma'am, I'm so sorry! It's just, this summer's been much hotter than last year! Spare me your excuses! This flower bed is one of the city's main points of attraction! Have you forgotten you work for the most powerful woman in Sapporo Central? Perhaps you won't for much longer. Please, no! I I'll do anything to fix this! You can keep your eyes glued to these flowers around the clock for all I care! Just do not let this happen again! Then that's what I'll do, Mayor! Jeez, that's one scary lady. Oh, hold on. Did he just call her Mayor? Oh, are you all here for sightseeing? I'm sorry you had to witness such unprofessional behavior from our staff during your visit. Oh, no. Yes, we are here to sightsee, and you are not the sight to see. Chan. Huh? Of course you wouldn't recognize me. You were tiny the last time I saw you. It's me, Mariko Hiodo. Your father, President Okumura, was a very good friend of mine. Ooh. She's the mayor? Oh, okay, guys, don't panic. Oh, could it be your Mari-san? Yes, yes. All that lifts my heart. It's 
been ever so long. I was wondering whose chapter this was going to be. Based on first being Ong's, second being Yusuke's, I would have assumed that this was going to be Makoto's, but... Actually having Haru be a main character, that actually, yeah, I like that. Uh, Haru, do you know this lady? Yes, of course I do. She used to come visit me back when I was little. Mari-san was one of my father's clients. We used to go golfing all the time, and she'd always keep me company whenever I was bored or lonely. Some freaking coincidence. Ooh, you got that right. Haru-chan, I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. Well, if there's anything that's been troubling you, you know that I'm here for you with open arms. I appreciate you saying that, but I'm okay. I have good people managing my company, and I'm working hard to finish my degree. And while I'm grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful people, I still have to walk on my own two feet. Haru-chan, my, how you've grown. Mari-san, I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh. Please forgive me. It seems my emotions got the better of me. Now then, are you here visiting with your friends? I hope you're all enjoying Sapporo to the fullest. Rest assured, my staff is working hard to make Sapporo a beautiful and worthwhile destination for all. Don't just stare at the ground. Replace these hideous flowers at once! <laughs> I'm on it! Way they all start slacking off. Ah, I'm sorry you had to see that. Now, as much as I'd like to keep chatting, there are preparations to be done. This election has kept me busy night and day. But do let me know if there's any way I can help you. There is one way. <sighs> no, Aru, that was your opportunity. Sorry to be so blunt, but she seems really two-faced. Mari-san, you used to be so kind to everyone. Makoto, two-faced, that's not, the, that's not enough faces. She's a fucking die. And I mean like a d20, not a d6. You think maybe she's not the monarch we're after? I don't know, we just saw her go apeshit on that guy. Normal people don't get pissed over plants. Are you okay, Haru? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little surprised is all. Oh, and sorry I didn't get her keyword. I was preoccupied. Nothing to apologize for. Yeah, it's like we discussed. We'll hear it when she makes her speech. Makoto's right. Our chance will come. And if she doesn't say it during her speech, it's not gonna be crazy to think that Aru would be like, hey, I want to connect with you again. Can I have your contact information through Emma? Like, that's not that big of a stretch. So, there are backup options here. For today, let's go around asking for rumors on Hyodo and make that our objective. Yes, I'd like to find out what changed her. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's all kinds of people here, meaning that there's meaning that there are all kinds of rumors here too. What we want is to find any information that points to Mariko Yodo being a monarch. Let's go. Bro, what are you doing? You just impressive. You just what? Seriously, what is he doing? Alright. Oh, are you kids Yoda supporters too? No? You're only collecting rumors about her? Is that for an assignment or something? Day in, day out, it's all here is the same old fanaticism. People don't shut up about Yoda. They say that she's trustworthy as she gets, but I'm pretty sure she's hiding something. There's no such thing as an honest politician. Why did I get rid of that voice? I have no idea. Can I get liquor? Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, Morgan, I want to get crunk though. You need something? Look, I'm. I'm meeting up with a chicken now, so maybe later. Old man. Hey, you! You're voting for Mayor Yoda this election, aren't you? Of course. No. That is not possible. People do not. Who do, people who don't live here cannot take part in the election. Where's that voice coming from? Wait a minute, you're a tourist, aren't you? Well, no matter. Just bear this in mind. Mayor Yoda is a wonderful person. She'll be the one to guide Sapporo. Nay, this country. Perhaps even this very world to new heights. She's gonna make this world her ark and she's gonna sail into the new future. Where have I heard that one before? This upcoming election is the first step on that journey. Mayor Hyoto, Sapporo stands for you. Long live Mayor Hyoto, Lord Sapporo. Glory to mankind. Okay, that was definitely not normal. You're gonna shut us down unless we clean it up? Hey, what kind of joke is that? We clean the club thoroughly every day. Huh? You found a millimeter of dust on the handrail? Come on, quit fooling around. Wait, you're serious? Okay. I guess... That counted. Yuki, there's been an emergency. Please come to the vending machine by the pharmacy immediately. Oh, Did something happen to Yusuke? We might want to find out what happened to her. What is it, prima donna? Hey. What happened, Yusuke? Hey. Look at this. It's canned juice featuring milk and fish in the label. Return it. Returning search results, this drink called Primordial Soup is considered a regional specialty. They press the juice out of the locally sourced fish and blend it with fresh Hokkaido milk. It's marketed towards men in particular. I don't know about that, I'm just worried about the smell. Who would invent such a monstrosity? It seems Poro's culture is not to be trifled with. Sheesh, you got my hair all standing up to nothing. Anyway, are you done gathering rumors? Not in the slightest. I was taken aback that I lost focus. Perhaps I can recover if I offer you this to you, Yuki. Please inform me how it tastes. <sighs> You're an enigma, Inari. Actually, it it was open at night, right? This is a casual bar with a full menu. It's probably not a great date spot. Where do you keep getting this stuff, Sophia? Not what I was hoping for, but yeah, I'll, I'll take free food. <coughs> it's no use. <coughs> Must hurry. Need medicine. Go see a doctor. I mean, I would like to, but <coughs> I don't have the time. I work the early shift tomorrow too. I need to hurry and recover, or at least get back to work. <coughs> Otherwise, the mayor is going to be livid. What did you say? Did he say the mayor? Hey, give me all, give me all the energy drinks and medicine you got. I'm taking talking about emptying the shelves here. He's being overworked, like the city employee we just saw this afternoon. Look at all these people crowding around the poster. The selection must be a big deal to them. Hmm? Hmm? Mayor Hiodo, I can finally meet you at last. Oh yes, you are the hope. You are all my hopes and dreams embodied. Really? This guy's totally out of it. Is he talk? Is he talking about going to the speech tomorrow? We'd better not let her guard down. I was going to talk to everyone. Alright, we've gathered plenty of information. The situation is similar to Shibuya and Sendai. The more we hear, the more suspicious Yoda becomes. 
If she's giving out her keyword during the speeches, as Zankiji says, we'll know if she's a monarch or not by entering her keyword to Emma. Wanna head back? Hey, let's go to bed early today so we can be ready for tomorrow. Think we uh, think we should head back? I want to keep exploring. All right, all right, Chief. Let's go back to the camp when you're done. Hey, look at all those people. I thought maybe a celebrity was here, but I guess they all came out to check the poster. <laughs> <laughs> a prebiotic soup that that enhances the potency of one's manhood. Whether such marketing has merit, we shall perhaps see. Yusuke, I don't think you have to worry. Let's be honest, it's not like you have any competition with Ryuji. It might be due to the upcoming election, but nearly everyone is talking about Mari-san. I haven't heard of any criticism either. They're all seeking her places. Races. To me, it's almost unnatural. I wonder. Does she have a cult of personality following her around just like a certain U United States politician who recently got indicted for yeah. stealing a bunch of papers? Yo, look at all the look at all the ramen spots they got. It's crazy how they're like everywhere. Man, this place is the real deal. I <laughs> almost don't want to leave. Good grief. Good grief. Feasting her eyes is fine, but don't forget why we're here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I didn't forget. We're uh looking for rumors about Kyoto, right? I got telling me that we'll find some here, maybe. Alright, where is Kodo? All the way down here. Yo! Yo! I was looking online for some rumors, and I found something that might be intriguing. Get this, Makoto. There's a very creepy building in Suzushino, and it's supposedly haunted. <gasps> haunted? Uh, what? Where? Why? <laughs> uh, there are only a few buildings here that I can think of that can actually be haunted. As for where it is... It's okay. You don't need to say it. I love Makoto. Anyway, it looks like uh, looks like we should head back to the hideout. By the way, I think I'm I think I'm gonna split this up into two because this is way too long for one. So, and I don't need that. I don't think. Cool. Excellent. Let's check out the fountain. Apparently, taking pictures of a fountain. With the tower in the in view is a pretty popular activity here. Where's the TV tower? Right. Oh. Hold, please. I think that's a pretty good thumbnail. Can I go to the bathroom, please? Can I please go to the bathroom? I'm. I. I sure wouldn't want to be alone here at night. Oh no, there's nothing better than taking a 3 inch. Would you like some freshly boiled corn? Welcome. Wow, grilled corn? That is... I can't believe it's not grilled. So, I've been racking my mind about... I swear I've played a game where Hokkaido is like a big part of it, and I think it's Yakuza. I think it's Yakuza. It might be 6. I'm playing through 3 right now. I think it might be Yakuza 6 that I'm thinking of. Because I don't think it's 3. No, because 3 is Okinawa. And then, uh, and then uh, Tokyo. I think it might be 6. Because I swear, I swear there's a game that, uh, takes place in, uh, in Sapporo.
I'll uh, throw it up in post if I find it. Anyway, what are we? What are we examining here? Okay. I think it's time to head back into the camper. What are you gonna do? Ready for bed? Yeah. Mm. I wonder what kind of speech Yoda is gonna make tomorrow. I rest it up early for tomorrow. I've been waiting for you. Is your master still not back? Okay, Lavenza, I, I, I'm curious. What do you do when I'm not here and Igor's not here? What do you do? In fact, what does anyone in the in the in, in the velvet room? What do any of them do when they're not helping out the trickster? Has that ever been answered? Surely they don't. Surely they don't sit, just like sit around. Do they have like paperwork to do? Does Igor make them do paperwork? Does Igor do paperwork? <laughs> I mean, he has a desk. Why? What? Why? Why? Why is my brain like this? It seems that you and your friends are becoming much stronger. However, the shadow of calamity creeps ever closer to your path. Please bear this in mind. What calamity is it? I'm sorry, but I know not its true nature. As for the topic at hand. I summoned you here to notify you about your power of the wild card. The number of personas you can maintain has increased due to your growth. Yay! I can now carry up to 10 personas. Your potential to wield multiple personas comes with endless possibilities. Hone this power alongside the companions with whom you formed unbreakable bonds, and prepare for the coming calamity. Whatever else you may need, I'm here for you. I need Igor. I, I I need my sweet sweet Igor. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you, Lavanza. All right, let's see if I if I can create something. I can make a Jack Frost. It seems that it can gain new can I? power. I can. I can make a level twenty-four Jack Frost. I'm gonna make a level twenty-four Jack Frost. I made Jack Frost it just so I can make, can you know, power. Setsuna. Do I have a nuke? Uh, do I have a nuke persona? Honestly, making uh, Setsuna and then bringing Principality back. I don't think that would be a bad Awaken idea. Awaken your new self. It seems that it choose which... Drains HP. I don't think I really need that. Uh, is this the per be born anew? Probably not the most optimal, but you know what? I do like. I can't skip this. Something's bad. To, you know, something's gonna happen. There's gonna be a mistake. Silky, why did it have to be silky? Ah, uh, this was different than expected. Level twenty-eight. Do I want a level twelve silky in, in the uh, compendium, or do I want a level twenty-eight silky with actually pretty Can good stats? This persona has been registered. All right, can I make another Satsuna, please? That it can gain new power. Thank you. I am or Satana. I thought it said Satana. No, Satana. Anyone dares to trouble, I will choke them to death. Oh my god. You are my kind of <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I mean yeah, it's been also. Level twenty-eight Sat Satana. 
Okay. A sleep boost. Level 28. Thoris. Or however you pronounce that. I keep pronouncing it differently every okay. time. I just want to see. Can I? Performing a fusion. No. Cool. Yep. I'm going back. Thank you, Lavenza. Are you going to make Sapporo great again? Stepped into a cult. The popularity is unbelievable. Do you think everyone here had their hearts changed? I swear to God, this this has to be inspired by recent events. I know this game came out was a twenty twenty one ish around there. Yeah, this shit was happening in like 2019. 2020. Yeah, it has, like, this has to be inspired. If not, then, oh my god, it is pretty much beat for beat. It, it is either a severe coincidence or inspiration. Crowds have a tendency to attract people. I imagine some of them came of their own volition. Haru. <sighs> Yodo has her phone out. She's gonna save you. Are you ready? I'm sure you're all familiar with Emma, yes? I'm also no stranger to technology. So please feel free to ask me. For those of you listening outside Sapporo, outside Hokkaido, or even outside the country, this invitation extends to each of you as well. The keyword is Snow City. Well, there you have it. The whole audience is friending her. Shouldn't we be stopping her right now? No. Causing a scene here would only draw unwanted attention. I hate to say it, but all we can do for now is watch. We can at least be glad we got the keyword. Now we can infiltrate Yodo's jail anytime we like. The smell here in Suzushino isn't too strong. Getting inside the jail won't be a problem. So the preparations have been made. Then let's go, everyone. If Mari-san really is the monarch, only we can stop her. We can't let her toy with the hearts of innocent people. True that. Time to save Sapporo. All right. Then let's ready up and begin infiltration. People are falling out after the speech conclu speech's conclusion. Time to make preparations for the jail. The safest way is in and out is near the crossing, where you can see the big sign. Once you're ready, gather there. Roger. We'll be exploring a new jail. There's no telling what's waiting for us there. Let's be sure we're ready. That's a good time and sign to stop. So next time, it's exactly, it's exactly what we are going to be doing. We're going to enter the jail from the Suzushino intersection, as the top right is saying. So until then, doing something out. See ya.